I think I've probably become immune to pain. I do not have a high pain threshold. However, I've learned to live with pain for so long that I think uh, what would hurt an average person doesn't hurt me so much. My dad was one tough son of a bitch. He was a man. He wasn't a fatalist. He never had a death wish. He never wanted to die. He never thought he was going to die. He just accepted that sometimes he's going to crash and he's going to be tough enough to get through it. When he expressed fear, he expressed it with a resoluteness that, yeah, I'm afraid I might crash and yeah, I may get injured, but son of a bitch, I said I'm going to do this and this is who I am and I'm going to do it. We have a lot of fear, and we let that fear just stimulate our senses so that we can perform at the level that we have to perform in order to make this impossible dream possible. But then you have to like not let it consume your mind so you can't focus. So it's, it's kind of like using fear for its good and then just being able to manage it. Did he have a fear of, if I make this jump, I'm going to die? I would say uh, only at the Snake River Canyon, because he really didn't know whether he's would ever come back from that jump or not. I went to Idaho and I bought a canyon. It's my canyon. And on September the 8th, I'll jump it. And the only way they'll get me out of the air is to shoot me out with an anti-aircraft gun because I am going to go, believe me. With evil, he would dream up something impossible and just figure out how to make it work, you know? He wouldn't, like, try to figure out what he could do and then uh, try to maximize that. When you dream that big, you kinda, you're the only one that has to get it. I put my whole heart and my whole life and my whole soul into that canyon jump. Both test rockets crashed into the river. I mean, it's not like today where you can get on a video game and send in a guided drone <laughs> to an exact point with exact mathematical probability. I mean, in the 70s, really, he was flipping a coin to see whether he would live or die. I'll never forget the night before the canyon jump. I made a deal with my son, Kelly. I said, now, tomorrow, when we get in the car to go to the airport, I want you to pretend that you left a little shaving kit in the house and you got to run back in for it. I said, I had a picture made for your mother here. And if I get killed at the edge of the canyon, I want to make sure this is hanging on the wall over the bed when she comes back to this bedroom. So what I had done was got a picture of the Snake River Canyon without the sky cycle or the ramp or anything in it. And I had written in the sky to my darling wife, Linda, I love you. He took all the known safeguards that he could take at the time. He hired who he thought was the best rocket designer that could get him across the canyon. He took all the precautions a guy could take, and it's, and it's not perfect, and life isn't perfect. I don't know the best way to say it, but he kind of invented the fuck it flag. You know, where he's just like, you know, sometimes you just have to let your instinct kind of take over. And that was something that Evil was really great at it. He just felt it, you know, and he was like, oh wait, I feel this. And he just would go with his instinct. When I punched that fire button, I just said, God, take care of me. Here I come. Four, three, two, one. Whoa, it looks like a good one. Whoa. Oh, evil, stay with the bird. He looks like he's... Whoa, there's been a mistake. He looks like he's going into the canyon. The ship's going down. I waited seven years and then had an engineering mistake made a malfunction. The parachute blew out on takeoff because of an electrical malfunction. When the malfunction happened before the wind was not blowing and the rocket went right down and stuck in the middle of the river. People didn't realize it, but I was trying to cut myself free. I was tied in that thing. Robert Craig Knievel appears to have landed in the Snake River. I think Evil may be dead or he may be drowning in the river. And it landed right near the edge of the river and he got his face scraped up, and son of a bitch, I think he was as relieved as anyone on the planet. I don't think I could ever explain to people really how tough it was on me to jump the canyon and what it was in my family. If that would have gone in the river, I would have absolutely drowned. I was a dead man. They wanted to see him defy death. That's what he did. That's why they loved him so much. And sometimes he was going to fall off, and he was going to have to jump in circumstances to get hurt, and gonna have to get up and as long as he could physically continue to do it he was gonna do it I mean I've learned in my life a lot of times my failures are greater than the successes would have been and, and evil is a good testament to that too in every adversity there's an equivalency to benefit if you just look for it and as far as I'm concerned if I'd have made it across the canyon everybody would have said well it's easy I could have done it if I'd have died they'd have said well the daredevil died evil can evil that was his grand finale but excuse me, 
I didn't. I'm still alive.